the Brazilian Expeditionary Force, Portuguese, Força Expeditionária Brasileira, Feb, nicknamed Cobras Fumantes, literally the Smoking Snakes, was a military division of the Brazilian Army and Air Force that fought with Allied forces in the Mediterranean theater of World War II. It numbered around 51,600 men, including a full infantry division, liaison flight, and fighter squadron. Placed under United States command, Brazilian troops fought primarily in the liberation of Italy from September 1944 to May 1945, while the Brazilian Navy and Air Force participated in the Battle of the Atlantic from mid-1942 till the end of the war. The FEB operated mostly at the platoon level, 3, seeing heavy combat at the arduous Gothic Line and during the 1945 final offensive. By the end of the war, it took 20,573 Axis prisoners, including two generals and close to 900 officers. The division lost 948 men killed in action across all three services. Brazil was the only independent South American country to send combat troops overseas during the war. Known for its tenacity and bravery, the FEB was well regarded by both allies and adversaries. It served with distinction in several battles, most notably at Colecchio, Camayor, Monte Prano, and Serquio Valley. Likewise, Brazil's Navy and Air Force played important roles in protecting Allied shipping and crippling Axis maritime power, inflicting disproportionately high losses on enemy munitions, supplies, and infrastructure. Overview Brazil's participation in World War II on the Allied side was not a foregone conclusion. Although it had supported the Triple Entente in World War I, as had now Axis aligned Japan and Romania, the country's contribution to the war took place in its waning years and was primarily naval, although it also sent a small military mission to the Western Front. In the years leading up to World War II, Brazil was the biggest non-European consumer of German products and ranked ninth among Germany's trading partners overall. It also hosted a large and influential German community that engendered closer ties to Germany. As in 1914, Brazil in 1939 maintained a position of neutrality, initially trading with both Allied and Axis countries. As the war progressed, trade with the Axis became subject to British and U.S. diplomatic and economic pressure. These efforts included the creation of the Joint Brazil-U.S. Defense Commission, chaired by U.S. Army Major General James Garsh Ord, which was broadly aimed at strengthening military ties between the countries. However, its central goal was to reduce the likelihood of Axis attacks on U.S. shipping across the Atlantic and minimize Axis influence in South America. Although Brazil was officially neutral, it increasingly cooperated with the Allies, particularly the U.S., shortly after the latter entered World War II in December 1941. The Pan American States Conference, which took place in Rio de Janeiro from 15 January 28, 1942, was convened in the wake of the U.S. declaration of war against the Axis powers. The meeting centered on U.S. offers of economic assistance to Latin America countries in return for security cooperation and the severing of diplomatic ties with Axis members. Brazil consequently ended diplomatic relations with Germany, Japan, and Italy by the end of January. Pursuant to the conference, Brazil permitted the U.S. to set up air bases on its territory in return for assistance in developing a domestic steel industry. Compania Siderurgica Nacional, which would serve the American war effort and afterwards benefit the Brazilian economy. The bases were located in the north central states of Bahia, Parabucu, and Rio Grande do Norte, where the city of Natal hosted part of the U.S. Navy's VP 52 bombing squadron, later becoming the largest overseas U.S. airbase. Brazil also hosted U.S. Task Force 3, which included a squadron equipped to attack submarines and merchant vessels attempting to trade with Japan. Nevertheless, unlike in 1917, the Brazilian government sought to avoid war and instead maintain economically beneficial ties with both sides. Notwithstanding its formal neutrality and reticence to declare war, Brazil's cooperation with the U.S. and break in diplomatic relations prompted immediate German reprisals. From the end of January to August 1942, German U-boats sank 18 Brazilian merchant vessels. The spate of attacks was especially severe after June 16 when Hitler personally called for a submarine blitz against Brazil, having considered its closer ties with the U.S. to be tantamount to an act of war. 8. By mid-August, the Germans were targeting shipping closer to Brazil's coast, U-507 alone sank five Brazilian vessels in two days, causing more than 600 deaths. On August 15, the Bapendi, traveling from Salvador to Recife, 
was torpedoed at 1912. Its 215 passengers and 55 crew members were lost. Less than an hour later, U-507 torpedoed the Araraquara, also traveling from Salvador towards the north of the country. Of the 142 people on board, 131 died. Another Brazilian ship, the Arara, traveling from Salvador to Santos, was targeted as it stopped to help the crippled Atajaba, suffering 20 fatalities. In all, 21 German and 2 Italian submarines sunk 36 Brazilian merchant ships, resulting in the deaths of nearly 2,000 people. The wave of August attacks proved to be a breaking point, especially since the victims included army soldiers and religious pilgrims. Brazil erupted in a wave of revulsions as anti-Axis demonstrations, some of them violent, spread across most major cities, including Rio de Janeiro. Protesters burned the flags of the Axis powers and chanted We Want War. In some cases, German communities were harassed. 10. The passive position of the Vargas government proved untenable in the face of public opinion, and on August 22, within a week of the last U-boat attack, the Brazilian cabinet approved a declaration of war against the Axis nations. Although Brazil continued to provide much-needed supplies, war material, and strategic territory for foreign bases, the decision to contribute troops came several months later, at the Potengi River Conference of 28 and January 29, 1943. Held in natal, Rio Grande do Norte aboard the USS Humboldt, the meeting between U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Getulio Vargas resulted in greater political, economic, and military cooperation between the U.S. and Brazil, including invitations for the latter to play a larger role in the post-war global order. Vargas and Foreign Minister Oswaldo Aranha saw the commitment of soldiers as a means of solidifying the strategic partnership with the U.S. and of enhancing Brazilian prestige and influence on the global state. Navy The participation of the Brazilian Navy in World War II was not directly connected to the Feb and the Italian campaign, as it was largely engaged in the Battle of the Atlantic. Axis naval attacks caused nearly 1,600 deaths, including almost 500 civilians, 470 sailors of the Merchant Marine, 570 sailors of the Navy, roughly one in seven Brazilian sailors would perish in the campaign. A total of 36 ships were sunk by the Germans, with an additional three lost, and 350 killed, in accidental sinkings. The main task of the Brazilian Navy was, together with the Allies, to ensure the safety of ships sailing between the Central and South Atlantic to Gibraltar. Alone or in coordination with Allied forces, it escorted 614 convoys that protected 3,164 merchant and transport troop ship. In the battle against German submarines, Brazilian frigates and submarines used mines and depth charges. According to German documents, the Brazilian Navy attacked German submarines a total of 66 times. The Brazilian Navy is confirmed to have destroyed 12 Axis submarines along its coasts, the Italian submarine Archimede and the German U-128, U-161, U-164, U-199, U-507, U-513, U-590, U-591, U-598, U-604 and U-662. Among the warships lost by the Brazilian Navy were the minelayer BZ Kamaqua, which capsized during a storm while escorting a convoy in July 1944, and the light cruiser BZ Bahia due to a gunnery accident, the majority of the latter's crew were lost. 19. Of the three Brazilian military ships lost during the war, only the freighter troop ship Vital de Oliveira was due to the action of an enemy submarine being sunk by the U-861 on July 20, 1944.